Holy moments are life-giving, happy, fun, thoughtful, encouraging. Some moments are holy, some moments are unholy, and you get to decide. To write is to hope. My main hope in setting out to write the book Holy Moments was to convince you of one thing. Holy moments are possible. I knew if I could convince you that your life would change. Sometimes a reader will say, your book changed my life. It's a beautiful and humbling thing to hear, but the danger is to think of the book as a miracle. The real miracle is the changed life. Holy moments are possible. If that statement is true, so many other things become possible for you and your life. There is an amazing moment in Victor Hugo's epic story, Les Miserables. The main character is a man named Jean Valjean, released from prison after 19 years of hard labor for stealing a loaf of bread. He is bitter, angry, and resentful of everyone. One evening, he knocks on a door looking for food. The owner welcomes him into his home to share a meal and to stay the night. Valjean repays this generous hospitality by stealing his host's silverware. The police capture him the next day and bring him back to return the silverware. But Valjean's host protects his thieving guest, telling the police that the silverware was a gift. This act of kindness, this holy moment, sets Valjean free in every way imaginable. Jean Valjean's host was an elderly bishop, a true man of God. He knew holy moments had the power to ransom people from fear and hatred and return them to God. This encounter with the bishop was the first time in decades Valjean had been treated with love, respect, and compassion. It forever changes him. It was a moment of tender care. The bishop did not see Valjean as a thief, and he did not see himself as a bishop. He saw only two brothers. In that moment, nothing else mattered to him except what was best for Jean Valjean. It was indeed a holy moment. This one moment of brotherly love set off a domino effect of goodness. As a result of the bishop's goodness, the effect of that one holy moment, Valjean unleashes an astonishing wave of holy moments everywhere he goes for the rest of his life. These holy moments touch thousands of lives and transform a whole town. Valjean was hopeless, devastated by hatred and injustice. Having suffered so much throughout his life, he had lost faith in himself, in others, in God, and in society. One man restored his hope in one moment, and Jean Valjean was able to change and go on to become a universal symbol of redemption and hope. Like in Les Miserables, there is so much hopelessness in the world today. Like Jean Valjean, many people today have lost hope. Discouraged and confused, too many people are miserable. What gives you hope? This is one of the most common questions people asked as I traveled around the world. I didn't realize it at first, but as the question kept coming up, I started paying attention to who was asking. I discovered it was usually good people who were losing hope. I have now asked hundreds of people the question myself, what gives you hope? Over the years, since I started asking the question, I have noticed people are taking longer to answer. And sadly, more people don't have an answer at all. Hope has evaporated from so many people's lives. What is hope? It is the belief that good things lay ahead. 
It is a combination of desire and expectation. It is the confidence that something wonderful is possible. When we enter into hopelessness, even our ability to desire good things diminishes and all our expectations turn negative. There are a growing number of people who have lost hope in our society. Devastated by cruelty and injustice, having suffered in so many ways, they have lost faith in themselves, in humanity, in God, and in society. Just like Jean Valjean, they need the tender touch of a holy moment. What's the difference when we are hopeful and hopeless? When we are hopeful, we believe the future can be better than the past and that there are things we can do to help bring about that better future. Hope empowers us. When we lose hope, we stop believing the future can be better and start believing that there is nothing we can do about our situation. This victim mindset takes us deeper into our hopelessness, which makes us feel that even the smallest things are impossible. Holy moments remind us that the future can be better than the past. They fill us with hope. They show us that we have a vital role to play in bringing about that better future. Holy moments empower us to give others the gift of hope. And the ability to give other people hope is profoundly beautiful. Anything that can bring people hope is of infinite value. And holy moments are such a thing. Perfectly Yourself will help you discover your unique ability to create holy moments. Become an ambassador today and we will send you a free copy of Perfectly Yourself and you will be helping make Best Lent Ever available to millions of people. Click here to join now. Did you know that 71% of the people that watch Matthew Kelly's videos are not subscribers? That makes no sense. We need to change that. Subscribe today, hit that like button, and turn on those notifications so you never miss out on another great video ever again.